chocolate has possibilities infinite in its creations. Today we're going to be doing chocolate as food and medicine. Everyone loves chocolate and it's a great medium for uh, children, adults, young, old, sick, healthy to just enjoy as a food and put in the best ingredients ever. And it's actually a very simple process. I think in this demonstration we can probably do this and if anyone times it less than a minute. Um, the style that I'm going to do is uh, according to Dr. Cousins' research uh, with the Rainbow Green Diet and we're going to be keeping it to a low glycemic phase one specifically <coughs> with his work to do with uh, reversing diabetes. So we're going to be adding a lot of medicinal uh, components into the chocolate. Traditionally chocolate has always been used as a medicine and it's an excellent carrier into the system. It works synergistically with a lot of different ingredients. So what I've done to start today is got some cacao butter pre-melted. That's probably the one step that will take you a little bit longer. And again, but that's just shaving it down and I've used a double boiler method which uh, shaving it down, putting it into a jar and using hot water or if you live in the Arizona sun you can just even leave it out in the sun and it will melt. Um, the butter comes from the nib. Here we have the nib. Uh, this, this is the bean uh, just broken into pieces. What they do to get the oil is uh, just pressing it so it separates into about 50% oil and 50% powder. Well, this is the fat of the bean and this is where all the chemical goodness lies, the uh, super high antioxidants. The powder is actually higher in antioxidants just due to its concentration uh, than the nibs are. So this truly is a, a super food even in itself just to eat it like that. But like I say, you throw, add on all those extra synergistic ingredients and you've really got something powerful. So we're going to use the powder. There's many, many methods to making chocolate. You can uh, just use the nibs and add your ingredients like that. But like I said, we're going to do a very simple method here of combining butter, powder, and then an array of ingredients that we're looking for for that medicinal aspect. Um, I'll, I'll just do it as we go. Okay, so here I've got two cups of cacao powder. I'm going to add that to our bowl. Got the Himalayan crystal salt, uh, very high minerals. So we're just adding a little pinch of that. It's pink earth energy. I've got about two tablespoons of bee pollen, one of the greatest foods on the planet. Brain food. We're gonna add whole uh, cacao nibs. That's gonna add a little texture, a little crunch. Cayenne. Traditionally, cayenne and cacao uh, are always kind of linked together because of their synergistic effects on the system and uh, delivery of nutrients. Uh, the cayenne I'm using, it's going to vary. I've, I've put in about a tablespoon there. Um, it's not. It's not. A, it's a, a cayenne that doesn't have too high of a heat. I mean, there's some that you're going to use only just a little pinch, but this one, it's kind of a mix between a sweet and a hot pepper. So we're adding a, a, lot, a bit of that. I've got some ground cinnamon. Cinnamon is high in chromium and uh, it's, it's known to help lower blood sugar. So again, we're choosing ingredients that are in alignment with our mission here. Pure synergy, uh, wild grasses, algaes, uh, medicinal mushrooms. We're gonna add that in. Maca. It's a uh, root coming from Peru, good for balancing hormones, it's an adaptogen, energy. And then we're going to shave in a little bit of nutmeg. This is called a microplane. This is actually really good for shaving your nutmeg. Nutmeg you want to just do fresh. The cinnamon I ground fresh, all your herbs and spices, you ideally want to buy them in their, their whole form and then just, you know, as much as you need. Just take it from there. That makes a pretty strong flavor, so I'm not going to add too much. So our nutmeg, and then I'm choosing as a sweetener to use whole stevia. Stevia comes in a lot of different forms. It can come extracted. Uh, many different methods of doing that. Uh, my preference is just actually the whole leaf ground up. 
you got to be careful of stevia because it does have quite a strong taste. So I'm just going to put in what's going to be equivalent to about uh, you know a quarter teaspoon. And then our, our last ingredient is vanilla. This is a vanilla bean. This is the fruit of an orchid. There's only one type of orchid in the world that fruits, and vanilla is the result of that. It's extremely high in ormus. And again, it has that synergistic relationship to cacao. So now I've sliced it open, and right now I'm just kind of scraping out the seeds. There's many different ways to use vanilla. Uh, this is one method where you just scrape out and just get the seeds. That's kind of what's giving you the flavor and the essence of this food. Uh, other methods are simply throwing it in your blender. The uh, casing is quite tough, so you need to have something like a Vitamix or a K-Tech and just really be able to grind it down. Another method is to soak it in water. I mean, you could even take the seed, you know, you don't have to be so fanatic in scraping everything out, and now take the, uh, the seed casing, throw it in water, and you know, extract the rest of the essence into the water. And then just pour it off as needed. So we're going to stir that around. Cacao powder can be a little bit lumpy, so you may consider you know, putting it through a, a, bit, a sieve, and then that'll keep it fine, or just do it simply do what I'm doing, and kind of mix it together with a fork. OK, now the next step is just simply to add our butter. and. I do have a little bit of coconut oil in this mixture as well, but in essence your ratio is about a, a two to one. You, you can play with, play with it as you like and find your own proportions that you like. Again, I, I chose to do this method today without any electronic equipment. You could most certainly put it in a food processor or a blender, and that would give you a really fine blend. But just for the sake of example, and I thought I'd go without the use of electronic equipment. Now, a lot of these ingredients, you know, I mean, are co completely interchangeable. Just depending on, you know, that's the great thing about making your own chocolate. You can make it specific to your own needs and tastes and requirements. If you wanted to add essential oils, you would add it to the uh, cacao butter when it's melted, and then you get an even, consistent flavor spread throughout. <coughs> If you don't have access to cacao butter, uh, coconut oil works as well. You're just going to have a, a melting point um, that is is higher or lower. Sorry, so more susceptible to melting with coconut oil, or just do a, a mix, a balance. Okay, there it is. Now we're just going to pour it in there. We'll put it in the fridge, and, and it'll be ready. I brought a spatula, but this looks like it's gonna spread pretty well. And there we have it. So we'll put that in the fridge and we'll have a sample and whenever it's done.